Welcome back Vipers, I'm Paulo, and today I have a tutorial for you guys. It's going to be one of many, I think. I'm going to probably start doing this every Sunday. I'm going to try to do it for you guys, okay? And what it is is a tutorial on how to do your own e-juice. I have had this question asked to me a lot of times. I have done about three or four of them in Portuguese, and I guess I decided to do them in English for you guys also. There are a lot of tutorials out there, you guys can watch them all. But I'm going to try starting from the start, the very beginning start. And why is because um, I have friends at work, so like I have been ex giving you guys the experiences we have at work with everyone at people that started vaping in December, and I have a couple that started vaping, I guess, before Christmas. And every single one of them that started vaping, thank God, I think I helped them a little to start into it. Everyone makes their own ages, okay? And I taught every single one of them the bases. And then after that, you know, you do your own thing. You, you like your own flavors. I like my flavors, and everyone likes their own flavors. So why not put it into practice and do your own? The only thing I'm going to be teaching you today is um, how to start doing your own e-juice. Because you probably think it's hard, and it's not. It's super simple. And I have a brand uh, mark here for you guys, which is called One on One. It's an American company, and it already has all the flavorings inside of it. Instead of you having to buy like two or three or four flavors to make that certain flavor, you can start out, first of all, trying these flavors. Because like, say you have an, I wanna show you guys this one. These are my favorites so far. Um, chocolate strawberry is what we're gonna do today. But one that I really liked was key lime pie. This key lime pie, it's all in one, and I've used it already, from one on one, it's right there. Um, what is this? It tastes like a lime pie. Like when you vape on it, I really like this one. You can taste the lime, you can um, taste the crust of the pie, and you can taste the cream all in one. So all you do is put 10% of juice um, into your mixture to the base, and that's it, and you're ready to vape on it. You can steep it for about seven to 10 days, but this one right off the bat, you can start vaping on it. Of course, if you let it sit for seven to 10 days, the taste will get richer, okay guys? Even two weeks, the longer the better. That's what I, I have already had a bottle here for like a month and the taste on it was phenomenal. So the longest you can stay without vaping on it, the better flavor you're gonna get out of it in the long run, okay? But you can vape your juices right off the bat. Um, this one that I'm vaping right now, I made it, it's a vanilla tobacco. I haven't vaped tobacco in a long time. But um, this tastes like a sweet tobacco with vanilla. It's really good also. I like this one a lot. Vanilla tobacco. This one, so yeah, this is a plus if you guys want to try it, if you guys like the taste of tobacco. Well, not the tobacco that we used to, to smoke, but uh, a sweet tobacco with vanilla. I think you guys will like that. The lime pie, you guys are gonna love it. And today we're gonna be doing the chocolate strawberry. So I haven't tried that one yet, so we're going to do this together and then we'll come back up and I'll tell you what I guys think about it, okay? What I think about it. So let me just take a hit. Um, like I was saying. I'm going to show you guys the bases that I use. Um, I usually buy my products now from a company. I have three companies that I usually order from and they're all close to me. One is my local vape shop that I get a lot of flavors from, which you guys are going to get because I'm in Portugal but a lot of them are from my local vape shop. And then I get a couple from Spain. Um, the one that I'm gonna show you guys from is called Spain Cigar, okay? And I'll leave, it's what's right here, saying Spain Cigar, and I'll leave the link on the bottom for Spain Cigar. Uh, but yeah, if you're in the States, you guys are gonna get your flavoring or your bases from your local vape shop, or you can order it in the States, but at least you'll just have a little bit of lights on what you really need to buy to start out making your own e-juice, which is gonna cost you like two, three, or four dollars for a 30 ml bottle, like this one, okay? These are my favorite e-juices, by the way. I usually use Sick Boy and Boosted. Those are my favorites. And then after I finish the juice, I save the bottles, and these bottles save are saved for me to make my own juice in them. That's what's in here. This is the vanilla tobacco, nice and white. Nice clean juices, guys. I really like them. So I really want to share this with you. And like I said, this is really for the beginner of the beginners. People that are afraid to make their own e-juice, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to do. People at work doing it, you guys can do it also, okay? If you live in Europe, uh, like say you live in Spain, or you live in England, or France, or Germany, you guys can take a look at Spain Cigar because he ships to any place 
in Europe and he has excellent prices guys so let's not waste more time let's get down and personal I'll show you everything you need we'll make our juice then we'll come back up and I'll vape on it and I'll tell you what I think about it I hope it's good see you guys in a minute so let's get started what you're gonna need first is a base you need a base a base is considered um, well to do a base you usually need um, PG you need VG and you need, and you need nicotine and then you're gonna need your flavoring, which is one of these. Or two, or three, or four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight flavorings, or 10. So I have complicated flavorings out there. I mean, I do a lot of mixes. But like I said today, I'm gonna teach you guys something really simple. And you're gonna need at least one syringe, and you're gonna need a napkin to clean out your syringe. And of course, you're gonna need a 30 mil bottle to start out with. Just a 30 normal mil bottle. So that's practically it. Usually you have to buy PG separately, VG separately, and nicotine separately. I buy it all in one. This brand name is called Vapfip and it's Spanish. This one comes with nicotine inside, comes with PG inside, comes with VG inside. You can also buy it just with PG without nicotine or PG with nicotine, or you can also get it with VG without nicotine or VG with nicotine. I have all three of them in here at once to make it really simple. So this is 80% VG, 20% PG, and six milligrams of nicotine. This is a 500 milliliter bottle. You can get these in 200 milliliters, 500 milliliters, or a liter with your mix already. So this is the base. Everything is in here, guys. All you need is the base. Depending on the, uh, the quantity of nicotine you want, you can get it with zero nicotine, three nicotine, uh, three milligrams, six milligrams, and a maximum 12 milligrams. Um, I have six milligrams, and I think you guys can see it here. It tells you. Here's the date on it, six milligrams of nicotine. Here you have 20 PG, 80 VG. You can also get this with 50 PG, 50 VG. You can get this with 100% VG, and no PG at all. So there's various, and I'll leave the links on the bottom so you guys can see this. That fit. This is what I use. This bottle is brand new. I wasted the other one. I had a liter. And with the brand name we're going to be using today, it's called One on One. It's an American flavoring. These bottles all come in 10 milliliters and they cost you 5.5 arrows, which must be around $6.50 or $7 for 10 milliliters of flavoring, 100% concentrated flavoring. All you have to use on this brand name is 10% of flavoring. We'll get into that in a minute. A syringe, you can buy it at your local vape store. They should have these just as they have their flavoring or you buy them online. This costs you about maybe what, 20 cents around that. Um, this 500 milliliter, let me see if I give you guys a price on this. Uh, nicotine bases, that fit. I'm going to the website to show you guys. 20 PG, 80 VG. Base without nicotine. If you guys want to buy, uh, let me see here. What's the size of this? Okay, 100 milliliters of VapFip without nicotine with 20% VG, 80% uh, VG and 20% PG cost you two arrows and 50 cents, which is like $3 for 100 milliliters. But let's, let's say mine, mine is 500 milliliters. If you buy it with the six milligrams of nicotine, it costs me 12 arrows and 10 cents, which it's about 14 bucks, $14 for a half a liter of base, nicotine, VG and PG. If you want it without nicotine, uh, it's, Seven, yeah. Without nicotine, it's seven arrows and seventy cents, which is around nine dollars, half a liter, guys. Now, say you make a bottle of thirty milliliters. If you have half a liter, you're gonna be making almost. Just do the math. Almost twenty bottles of thirty milliliters. Uh, let's say you make about sixteen bottles of thirty milliliters with only wasting nine dollars. You can make like 16 if you don't use nicotine, plus the flavoring, of course, but I'm just talking about the base. A total, I, I can tell you guys, doing a total of the 30 mils, you're probably gonna be wasting like 
two dollars on a bottle of 30 milliliters, two to three dollars on the bottle of um, e-juice for yourself and you make your own flavoring. Okay, so let's, I think I explained it sort of. So I got my base here with everything in it, PG, VG, and nicotine, and now all I need is a flavoring. What I like about these flavorings, you can buy Capella, I really like Capellas, I like TPA, and I like these, and I like Tea Juice, also a very good brand name. They're all cheaper than this one. This one is more concentrated and it has a mix inside of it already, it's all done. Like this one says, it's Darwin Ring Cake. This has various flavor mixtures inside of it, but this one's the hardest one to explain, let me go to another one. Okay, blueberry cheesecake. So this one already has flavoring of blueberry, which you'd have to buy separate, one blueberry, and you'd have to buy separately cheesecake. And if you want to uh, taste the crust, you'd have to buy the cheesecake crust separately. So you'd have three flavorings in one, right? Three bottles of flavorings. This one has everything inside of it, just on this one bottle. We're gonna be making today, I'm gonna to be doing the, I just tried this one now, I really like this one, vanilla tobacco. This one tastes like a sweet tobacco with the vanilla aftertaste on it. I like this one a lot. So again, you have two flavorings in here or more, but only one bottle. Like I say, TPA and Capella, everything is separate. Cinnamon is one, tobacco is one, um, vanilla is one, they're all separate. And this brand name, they all come together. And they're having a promotion so far on the website about these. These cost five, five uh, arrows and 50 cents, but they also offer you uh, 80 VG, 20 PG base without nicotine. And I think this is mil 90 milliliters. Uh, let me see the size of it. Yeah, 90 mils right here. Just so you guys know. They're offering it while they still have it in stock. So if you order one of these bases, it'll come with, I mean, one of these flavorings, it'll come with one of these bases, which is pretty cool. This is enough to make three bottles of 30 mils. Awesome, right guys? So let's get started. We're gonna be doing, I wanna, I wanna try this one because I didn't try it out yet. Chocolate strawberry. So what do I do? On the flavorings, on the website, it says it's enough is 10%, and I've already tried doing 15% of flavoring in my base, and 15% is way too much. So I've been doing 10%, and it's more than enough. I love the 10%. So let's get started, guys. I'm sorry I talk too much, but I have to explain. I know a lot of you never did this before. So I'm trying, before you ask me the questions on the description or in the comments, I'm trying to get it answered for you guys beforehand, okay? Okay, so we have our 30 ml bottle. Again, I'm no pro. I do these e-juices for myself, and I've been doing them for myself for about a year and a half already. I haven't bought any made juices. I do have the ones that I do reviews on because people offer them to me to do the review. But buying juices, I haven't bought juices for about a year and a half. I make my own juices, and a lot of people love it at work, and a lot of people wanted to buy it from me. I offer it to them and I decide to show them how to do their own juice. I'll give you guys all my recipes, I don't care because I'm not planning on making any money on this. I just really wanna share it with you guys. Really simple to do guys and it saves you a lot of money. I know uh, we work hard for our money and it's, it's hard to waste money and we have bills to pay and we just wanna have a good vape and stop smoking. So that's why I really wanna help you guys on how to do your own juice. Sure, you should buy bottles of juice already made, $20 juices. You know, for a special occasion, I don't know, uh, you go to a party or you deserve to have some premium juice to vape on once in a while. But I waste about 30 mils every two days and wasting $20 every two days for me is just, I can't afford it. So I decided to make it my own and I, and I love them. So I want to share with you guys. So let's get started. Okay. Since we're doing 30 mils and we have our base, if you're going to use 10% of flavoring, do the math, guys, okay? 10% of 30 mils is three milliliters. All we need is three milliliters of uh, flavoring. So since we're gonna be doing chocolate strawberry, mix up your bottle. This one is brand new. Open up your bottle. I always put the flavoring first, and you guys are gonna see why. So, get out. The pin here, just take out the pin. Open up your empty glass bottle. I always use glass bottles, I like them better. Get your one milliliter syringe. That's what I use, one milliliter syringe. Put it inside your flavoring. 
push up one milliliter. Make sure it's one. You'll see it go to 100. Which is right here. I'll show you guys. It's right here. So here's one ml inside your last bottle and 2 ml and 3 ml right around here and I got my 10% now I usually close it up so it doesn't get any dust on the inside Always close up your bottles when you're not using it, guys, and just clean out your napkin. Like I said, this is the first tutorial, the simplest ever made. That's it. What do I have in here? I have chocolate and strawberry, and it probably has cream in it. Everything in one, okay, guys? And this, uh, this brand name is called One on One. It's American made, right here. If you guys wanna see that. Okay. All we need now is the base. Mix up your base. Make sure you get your nicotine all mixed up and your VG and your PG. I'll explain what is VG and PG in a minute. For those of you that don't know. No, I probably should explain it right now. Okay. PG gives you the throat hit and gives you flavoring. Doesn't give you that much vapor production. VG is the one that gives you vapor production but it doesn't have any flavoring in it. So, if you want to play around with like 50 PG and 50 VG, it's great, except it's going to give you an extreme throat hit. So I would not recommend more than 3 milligrams of nicotine. That'll be too abusive for your lungs, seriously. I don't think you can handle it if you're using a mod. If you're using a pen, it's fine. But if you're using a mod or an RDA, guys, 3 milligrams, if you're using like 50 uh, PG, more than enough. I use 80 Y because I just put 10% of um, flavoring in here. So 10% of flavoring, which is B PG based, they're all PGs, the flavorings are always PG. So I'm taking 10% out of my base. So instead of having 80 VG and 20 PG, I actually have 70 VG with 30 PG because 10% is in this bottle. You guys understood that? It's, it's math. So actually I'm gonna be left with a 70% VG, 30% PG blend. That's gonna be my juice. So, and that's how I like it. I get a lot of vapor production and I do get a lot of flavor and throat hit, especially from a six milligram nicotine. It's more than enough. Like I said, if I had more PG, I would lower my uh, nicotine base. But since I use a lot of VG, I can up my nicotine. So that's what I use. So mix this up really well. Another thing, guys, Please, 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 I can't express this enough. These are all child-proof caps, but this is plastic, okay? So imagine you leave this on the table and your dog catches it and bites it, or your child, the dog rips it open and your child gets this on his hand and starts licking it. This is very hazardous for their health. You, you shouldn't even be putting this on your skin. It's not that much of a condensation of a VG, PG, or nicotine, but it's still enough to harm a child or your animal. Imagine them sucking this all up. You'd have a big problem in your hands. Always keep this safely closed up somewhere where they cannot reach it, okay? I can't express that enough, guys. And as soon as you open it and use it, close it back up and, and save it in a safe place. So open it up. And again, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So if you're using 10%, of a 30 mil bottle, my cat won't shut up. Princesa! 10% of a 30 mil bottle, you should have three milliliters of uh, flavoring and 27 milliliters of base. But I eyeball it, eyeball it. I know that through here, right around here, is my 30%, I mean my 30 milliliters. So I just eyeball it. Like I said, I don't sell this. This is for my own personal use. It could have maybe uh, 
well, more than 30 uh, milliliters, it won't have any because the bottle can't take it. I know this is exactly 30 milliliters, but it can have 29 or it can have 28 or I don't know, 30, 30.5. I don't really care. It's my personal use. And instead of getting a syringe, which you can get a syringe like of 10 milliliters and you would suck it up and put in here another 27 milliliters of base. If you want an exactly perfect account every time. But like I say, I eyeball in. So all I do is fill it up. Close up my base. And I got my juice done. Close it up. Mine has a dripper. Mix it up really well. Got a lot of bubbles in here. Okay, now what you usually have to do is leave it steeping, okay? The longer you keep this steeping, the more flavor you're gonna get out of this, out of a long period of time. Keep it always in a cool place, not hot, not too cool, like room temperature, and keep it in a dark spot, like in a box or something, so it doesn't catch any sunlight into it. It's the same thing. If you guys have a bottle of water out in the sun, you know how it's going to be after the next day. You can't drink it. Forget it. You get bacteria inside of it. So keep this away from the sun all times, okay? Even when you're vaping on it, you're not going to leave this sitting in your car with direct sunlight, right? You know you're going to mess up your juice. Like I said, just like a bottle of water. It's exactly the same thing. Keep this hidden away. Every single day, um, you guys should go and shake it to get the bubbles, open it up to let it breathe, and then close it back down again and leave it for another day. I usually do this process between seven to 10 days. Usually my juices are around that time. You can vape it right now and I am gonna vape it. I'm gonna show you guys how it's a vapor production. I'm gonna tell you guys what it tastes like because I never tasted this one. But you can vape it right off the bat, but you're never gonna get 100% flavor off of it if you vape this all, you know, when you just did it. If you guys can, make two bottles. If you wanna vape on it right now because you have no more juice, well, make two bottles. Vape on one and then go back to the other one about 10 days later and you guys will notice the difference from one bottle to the other bottle when you made it. Okay, so that's it guys, really simple. 10%, all you need is your base with the mixture done already and you need your flavoring. This is only one flavor, next week I'll do two or three flavors for you guys to see how I do it. But with one flavor, I usually do 10%. And that's it, and it's awesome. Let's go back up, I never tasted this one, let's see how it tastes. See you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so that was our close and personal and that was my tutorial on how to do your own e-juice. I hope I explained it pretty well that, you know, I, I hope I helped you to push you to that level for you to start making your own juice, at least try it. If I miss something out or if you have any doubts, guys, you have my, my email out here at the bottom. You guys email me or um, leave me comments on the comment section. And I'll get back to you, no problem at all, you know, we're all here to help each other, so. And, um, like I want to tell you guys, I'm no pro. I only do juice for me, but for a year and a half I've been doing my own juice and I don't want anything else. I can buy once in a while, I'll buy a juice, but I'm pretty happy with what I make for myself. I don't do it to sell or anything like that. And I want to share that experience with you guys, that you guys can make your own juice, and you guys can stop smoking with your own juice. I mean, it's, it's a great juice. You... I have friends at work telling me that my juice seems like it's a premium juice and a couple of them already do juice better than me. It just depends on what you like. They, they, they adventure a lot on what they do and the, the flavor that they pick come out pretty well. This one is just a basic one. I'm going to probably next week I'm going to start doing um, a Capella and TPA juices for you guys to see. Those are awesome. These are okay. They're not bad. I mean to start out, like I said, if you guys, if you get like lime and like pie, it's a good, I think it's probably a good one to start out with. And the tobacco with the vanilla is pretty good too. So I just took a couple of hits off of this one, the, the strawberry chocolate. Uh, what do I have to say about it? It's not bad, but probably again, you have to steep it. But then again, if you make your own juice and you taste it and you don't like it, problem probably gonna be that even after a couple of weeks, you're not gonna like it. If you don't like it right when you did it and you tasted it, 
you're probably not going to like it after 15 days. I mean, when you make it, it has to be good. If it's not good, it's not going to be good after 15 days. If you like it when you make it, 15 days, it's going to have a richer taste to it. So it's going to be even better than what you tasted the day you made it, okay? So that's practically it. Let me take a hit off of it. What I'm getting, I mean, nice clouds, nice dense vape, a lot of taste, only with 10%. Uh, but what I can tell you, what I'm not liking about it is that it doesn't taste like a pure strawberry. I'm getting, uh, it's, I'm, I'm tasting more like a raspberry, it's not strawberry. And raspberry, uh, I like it, but it's not one of my main flavors that I like in the fruit. I love strawberry though, and I love strawberry cream, that's what I'm probably going to show you guys next week. Like I said, I'm probably going to do this every Sunday. I'll make one for you guys. And then we'll test it out together to see if it's good. But next week I'm probably going to do my strawberry uh, custard that everyone loves. And it's, I want to share that with you guys, if you guys like strawberries. Um, this one tastes a little bit like raspberry. It's not bad, but it wouldn't be a first option. My probably first option from the six flavors that I got this week, I would probably go for the, um, the lime pie. I think you guys will like the lime pie. Only 10% guys, because it's these are liquids, these um, flavorings are really strong. So 10% is more than enough. And another thing, um, 6%, uh, 6 milligrams of, um, oh my God, nicotine. 6%, uh, 6 milligrams of nicotine is a really strong throw hit, okay? So I would suggest if you guys do buy this 6 milligrams of nicotine, I usually do something I didn't do to make it simpler for you guys, but if you guys want to do it straight off the bottle, buy the three milligrams of nicotine, okay? It's just a warning. If you guys want to buy the six milligrams of nicotine, since where I got this from, they offered me the 90 millimeters without nicotine, I usually mix them, make half and half, so it'll end up three milligrams of nicotine. You get what I'm saying? So this one is kind of strong. I forgot to mix it, and I didn't really want to mix it because I wanted to show you guys how simple it was. You just need that bottle of the base and put it in there. But if you guys only buy the base, buy 3 milligrams of nicotine, okay? If you're cutting off 10% of those 3 milligrams, you're cutting off um, 0.3 of that 10%, right? So you'll actually be left, instead of 3 milligrams, if you buy the 3 milligrams, you'll be left with 2.7 uh, milligrams of nicotine in your e-juice. If you buy the 6 milligrams and cut off 10%, it's a 0.6, uh, so I cut off... I, I'm left with uh, 5.4 milligrams of nicotine, which is it's a it's a strong throw hit with 70% VG and 30% PG. 30% PG is a lot. It already gives you a throw hit, so I would go for the three milligrams of nicotine. Okay, just a warning for you guys. If you guys want to try doing it, go with the three milligrams first. If you think it's too weak for you, then go with the six milligrams, and then you can cut it down with the three milligrams you already have, and you can mix it in between, and you'll up your milligrams of nick okay just an idea for you guys but yeah that's what i got for you guys today i hope you guys like this tutorial like i said i'm going to plan on doing um e-juice mixes on sundays for you guys you know sunday nights um if you guys like the review give it a thumbs up and if you guys think i should continue doing it give it a thumbs up um thank you guys again for joining me you guys are awesome i love all of you and yeah stay safe you guys uh, rock on and vape hard. Viper Vapor PT is out and hope to see you all in the next one. Stay safe, you guys.